how to break bad habits and form good ones. In this video, let's talk about what actually creates great habits and how do we actually stop and break bad habits? Because let's face it, we all have them. Because if you really think about habits and what we do every single day, it all begins from our beliefs because our beliefs shapes our thoughts. Our thoughts will then become our words. Our words becomes our action and our action steps ultimately becomes our destiny, our results that we have in our life. So the question is, how do we create more good habits and how do we break out of bad ones? Number one is first thinking about what is the routine reward as well as the cue. What is the current routine that I have that causes that habit? Is it snacking while in front of the TV, watching Facebook, YouTube videos that's a total distraction in the middle of work? What is the routine that causes it? The next thing is reward. What is the payoff that we ultimately get as a direct result of the habit? Now, what if I told you that every single thing that we know we shouldn't be doing, but we do it anyway, there's a reward to it. We might eat that chocolate cake, we know we shouldn't because it gives us this, this feeling of happiness. Whatever bad habit that we might have, there is a payoff to it and that's why people do it over and over and over again. So the third piece is the cue, right? What actually triggers it? Is it a certain location, a certain place that you go to that normally triggers this habit? Is it a certain time of the day? Is it only on weekends? Is it only at night? Is it midday when you feel tired? Is it people? Is it a certain group of friends that causes you to have that habit? But understanding the root cause of what triggers it allows you now to understand the cause of this habit. That brings us to number two. Now that we are aware of what causes this habit, or at least what triggers it, then it's time to change and reframe the languaging that happens in our head. And that is basically transitioning and going from I can't to I don't. Now think about that for a second. These two words, world of difference. If you think about I can't, I can't means restriction. If you say I can't eat potato chips versus I don't eat potato chips. So this second piece here is about changing the story and basically reframing the conversation that happens in over here by really transitioning, being aware of the messages you tell yourself. Is it more towards I can't or I don't? Change the words in your mind and you change everything. Number three is about changing the environment because environment is stronger than your willpower. What is the environment that surrounds you that causes you to have that habit? Where do you think you're gonna be if your top five friends are in the pub every single day? It's gonna be in the pub with them. Whatever habit you might have, think about how can you change the environment? Rather than saying, I can't eat this chocolate cake, wouldn't you agree that's a lot more powerful not buying them in the first place? Think about how can you control your environment because if you don't control your environment, your environment will end up controlling you instead. Habits dictate who we are, how we show up. It can either empower you or it can enslave you. Let me know in the comments below what current habits that you know needs changing and what are the good ones you intend to adopt. I would love to hear what they are. And as always, remember to hit the subscribe button if you like to have more videos like this to be notified the moment we create them.